Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As I always say, and it's well known, actions have consequences. Only uh, very, very young children or small children uh, don't know that. But if uh, they are allowed to live life and they are a little bit, you know, uh, paying attention and memorizing and seeing a pattern, they will understand even if their parents did not do a great job telling them that and instilling in them this reality. Actions have consequences, sometimes good, sometimes bad. The European Union, United States and other weasels like Japan and Australia, for instance, uh, impose, um, as you know, sanctions on Russia for its um, unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. All right. So um, now we have those was the action uh, actions, you know, Russians attacked. The reaction was these guys uh, introduced themselves in the equation view <laughs> uh, without being invited or having anything to do. But because just that's what they do. They're good countries and good people. So they have to jump and help wherever is needed, you know. But anyway, it's always outside of their countries because that's how you help helping people outside of yourself. Your people in your country, yeah, do they vote the way I want? That's fine. Let's take them and give to these guys, okay? And then that, that action triggered the other reaction, and that is big financial economic problems in Europe and elsewhere in the countries that imposed sanctions on Russia. So I have here a little, 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 little article about that. And uh, we have the potential stagflation. All right, not stagnation, not inflation, stagflation. So let's see what that is, okay? And that's in Europe and uh, not only. Russia today, from March 4th, 2023, EU, European Union, should get ready for stagflation. US economist says, Jeffrey Sachs says, underlying inflation trends signal a further surge in prices. The Eurozone is on the verge of stagflation, renowned US economist Jeffrey Sachs has warned on his YouTube channel. Stagflation refers to a period of stagnant economic growth combined with persistently high inflation and a sharp rise in unemployment. So, <sighs> you don't grow economically, the inflation is high and stays there, and then unemployment, people lose their jobs. According to Sachs, who was the mastermind behind, and I'm quoting, shock therapy reforms in the 1990s in Russia, the recent slowing in headline inflation in the euro area is a temporary occurrence, as it includes high volatile fresh food and energy prices, which change quickly. However, core inflation, which excludes these readings, and therefore gives a clear picture of underlying pressures with the economy surged to a new record last month, signaling that the Eurozone economy may be headed into a crisis in the long run. And I'm quoting, core inflation in Europe just keeps rising despite headlines slowing as the economy tips into recession. Get ready for stagflation, Sachs said. Headline inflation across the 20 countries of the euro area slowed to 8.5% in February from 8.6% the month before, according to Eurostat data. Experts attribute the trend to the decline in energy prices brought about by unreasonably mild weather and subsequently lower demand. Core inflation, on the other hand, rose by 5.6% a new historic high for the indicator. The surge in core inflation is likely to force the European Central Bank to keep raising interest rates, which often stalls economic grow growth or even pushes the economy into a recession, a period of negative growth. And I'm quoting, if we don't get clear signals that core inflation is going down, we'll have to do more. And quote, Belgium Central Bank head Pierre Wunsch who is also a member of the ECB Governing Council, told reporters this week, adding that, and I'm quoting, looking at rates of 4% would not be excluded. 
Sachs is not the first to issue warnings about looming stockflation. Another renowned economist, Noriel Rubini, has been saying for months now that the world economy is headed into what he calls, and I'm quoting, a global stag stagflationary debt crisis. Noting that with interest rates at their current levels, the debt rate the debt ratio is quickly becoming unsustainable. So this is what these guys are saying. It doesn't mean they are golden. But go to your store, local store, and you're going to find less products, at least I see less products, higher prices, and less workers. Wherever I go, not everywhere, but I see, uh, you know, hiring. Hiring, we're hiring, we're hiring. People that I know, companies that I uh, go to, the same, they need people to go to work. Probably they have the demand, but they don't have the workforce. So that's, that, that's direct experience. High prices, that's a, a, an increase. Now about the stagflation, it's been, uh, they've been talking about it for, I think, July last year. They talk, they're talking about that. I just read an article before this, Oh, maybe about two hours ago, let's say. And they said that uh, people with incomes, and listen to this, uh, above, no, above $100,000, even they feel pressure. I think it was between 100 and 120 or something like this. And I was thinking, who the hell makes $120,000? How many people? I mean, I had a statistic before, I mean, a, a study, and it was about 28%, I think, of the population makes over 120,000 or something. And they said that they cannot make it. They have problems with the bills. I'm thinking, what kind of lifestyle do you have? Maybe you extend it too far, but that's how we are. That's how we are. Usually, when you look at the person driving a car, you can assess, especially it's a kind of a new car, you assess the, that person's uh, uh, worth. Let's put it this way. Most of the time, most of the time, there are millionaires and billionaires and people with a lot of money driving crappy cars. That's true. But usually, that's an indicator of how much, what the maximum of that person's ability to buy. And it, depending on the car, it's if, uh, not as that expensive car. That's the maximum that person was uh, able to afford buying it in order to not look embarrassing towards his uh, you know, friends or whatever. There are studies on that as well. It's the maximum. Now, uh, the debt, the, not the public debt, which you know these guys have to raise the, um, the ability to borrow money, the debt ceiling of the United States of America, which will happen. Instead of, imagine of the United States of America as a family, right? Two incomes, may have other mouths to feed, and then you extend too much. And you keep buying stuff, you keep buying stuff, you keep getting in, in debt. And all of a sudden, the debt gets so high that you realize that the income that comes, you know, income from both sides, will not be able to pay that. You're gonna, it's, a, it's a tipping point where the, where the interest will destroy you. You can't keep up with that. You, you can't keep it manageable. So instead of these guys saying, you know what, how about we don't need uh, that, or we don't need that, or we don't need that, or cut on that, cut on that. No. They say, well, you know what, we're just going to find another credit card. Then they find another credit card. I made another video, I think uh, two months ago, regarding the, the credit card uh, debt of Americans. And I think it's increased 8% in the past year or 8% or something is over what it was. I can't remember exactly. It was maybe 10, something like that. And that's outrageous. That means people use, they can't afford paying for stuff and they use credit cards. Uh, it was a study. I don't think it was 10. I think it was more than 10. But I don't want to say uh, you can watch that video and find out the, 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 the um, people cannot afford paying for regular stuff. For, you know, to to live, to survive, so they need a credit card. It's unbelievable. What's going to happen? Because those credit cards are going to reach a little limit. What are you going to do then? And you're going to try to get another one, and you can't. And your expenses will be the same. So you start losing shit if you didn't lose it yet. Like, not only your mind, but your uh, houses, your whatever you have, properties, whatever you have. And then you want to file for bankruptcy, you're going to go under that bridge. But you can't get under the bridge, because that's already full. 
So they're gonna push you with their heels. Poof, get out of here. You're gonna go in the woods. So uh, yeah, the situation is not uh, uh, as nice as these guys say. Yeah, we create uh, um, so many jobs, 500,000 jobs in the first trimester or something or blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 okay. It's the lowest unemployment in, uh, I don't know, 20 years or something. Or Yeah, yeah, how many people just uh, stopped looking for jobs? Because those guys are excluded in this, uh, you know, statistics. Oh, we have only 3.6% unemployment. Yay! Yeah, because you got about 6.9, not even looking. So there would be about 10% that are just, you know, nothing. Anyway, uh, This is exactly what Putin, I think, bets on. These guys are gonna go so down economically that people will lose it. And the economy is gonna collapse. Because if you have a society that borrows, 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 personal, what are you gonna do with that? There are gonna be a lot of people reaching a maximum where they cannot be given money anymore. You're gonna forgive them? It, I don't even uh, want to think about that. I don't want to get crazy <laughs> thinking about that. I mean, try to be responsible and try to do this. You want to do that. You, you not sacrifice. You sacrifice your life by, you know, trying to uh, uh, produce and, uh, you know, do better for you, for the people around you. And then some people just uh, jerk off around and they just, uh, they get their loans. Uh, well, really? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. There are people who have uh, incomes of 120. I think from 120 down, they forgive the loans. What? What? Do you make $120,000 a year? Or you make 60? Make 50? Imagine someone makes $100,000 and these guys are forgiving from their, uh, fr from their uh, loan uh, from the school. $10,000 or something like that. You make one hundred and ten or twenty thousand dollars a year. Let's say, take that case, that kid, and you can't afford. How many people make that? I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just ridiculous. I would start maybe now with people who make thirty thousand dollars, and even like that, uh, you don't reward bad decisions. Okay, um, you read it based on your abilities. They caught you. It's like, oh my God, I'm gonna go now back to the bank and say, oh, you ripped me off, man. You got me a a house with interest, I don't know, 7% interest rate. He's gonna say, yeah, come over here, please. Sit down, Mr. Cosman. Here's a second. Gigi, bring them. Okay, bring them. Let's see, Mr. Cosman, is this your signature here on this? Oh, uh, yes it is. What's your point? Well, my point is that this is a contract that you, if your signature over there, and you check those boxes with your little raccoon hand, that means you agreed to the contract. What's over there, Mr. Cosman? Oh, uh, that's seven percent. Yeah. So, any more questions? Um, someone owes me something. Someone fooled me here. You, you read me off. That's how it works. No, you are a dumbass. You pay. You're not a dumbass. You win. Oh, I took a loan in college because I want to go to college. Maybe you can't afford going to college. Did you think about that? Not everyone should go, must go, could go to college. So if you can't afford, you don't go. It's okay, I came with nothing in this country. Nothing, all right? And I paid my college. I don't expect anything for anybody. Just opportunity to work, all right? And I don't expect to be mm -mm 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 by the government by taking my work and giving it to others. If you want to do that, you're free to give me your work. And I'm going to stay home and not yours, mine. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.